Plot to kill. The captain now brings Paul to the Sanhedrin. His only purpose for doing that is to find out what did Paul do to justify what the crowd did to him. It seemed obvious to him that Paul hadn't broken any Roman law, so it must have been a Jewish law, and he wanted to find out what it was. The captain, I, I believe at this point, is simply wanting to fill out a report and he needed to get more information. But when Paul steps before the Sanhedrin, remember it was the Sanhedrin that had condemned Jesus to die. It was the Sanhedrin that Paul himself had been a member. He, along with the others, had condemned Stephen to die. Paul felt comfortable. This was his crowd. I, I can imagine that as Paul was standing there, he was remembering back to the that proud moment when he was elected to be on the Sanhedrin. It was just like the height of his entire life. And now he's standing on the other side. This was his crowd. He, he didn't recognize the high priest. And of course, the reason for that is that in the Old Testament, the high priest was a lifetime job. But in the New Testament, the Romans actually appointed the high priest. And so it changed quite often. Paul would not recognize this, this new high, high priest. Paul starts an argument. You see him just right away going, I mean, Paul's not concerned with what the captain wants to get out of this. I mean, the captain just wants to find out what's going on here. But Paul saw his opportunity. Standing before him uh, uh, are, the, are the Pharisees and the Sadducees. The Pharisees is his people. And he's seeing that, they're, that they are coexisting here, that they're getting along like they've always have in, in the Sanhedrin. But he knew that their beliefs were, were, were different. Remember, the Sanhedrin, the, the, Sanhedrin the, the Pharisees of the Sanhedrin had been moving. Uh, Jesus had worked with the Pharisees. He had fussed at them. And he, he, in the course of his ministry, we see them moving in in his direction. They were starting to accept different, different members of the Sanhedrin had actually become followers of Christ. This was Paul's opportunity to move them even farther. He brings up the resurrection. That's the issue. If the Pharisees ever admit that Jesus rose from the dead, they would all become followers of Christ. And many of them did. And even in this story, you see them sympathetic. Sympathetic. They're, they are moving in Paul's direction. The nephew who comes to the prison, I mean, you might wonder why he's involved. Well, prisoners were not provided food. It was up to the family to bring food to the prison. And that's why the nephew was there. He was bringing food. Of course, then God worked it out so he could hear the plot and, and, and tell Paul about it, and then finally tell the captain about it. Well, come back when we give you more insights on the story.